Thank you. Well, today marks one week since the mass shooting at Molson Coors in Milwaukee. Five men were killed. Now, some are blaming the shooting on alleged discrimination at Molson Coors, but Milwaukee police say so far neither race nor racism are a factor. CBS Update's Pari Cruz looked into the claims made against the company. She joins us live with what she uncovered. Pari. Yeah, Natalie and Bill, since the shooting, rumors have been floating around that the attack might have been racially motivated by harassment the shooter faced at the company. Now, we found nearly two dozen reports that were filed against the company for discrimination. There was an incident uh, that's been discussed about a noose that was found in a locker, which is abhorrent. An official from Molson Coors confirmed a noose was found in the accused gunman's locker five years ago. Five years ago or not doesn't make it any more or less acceptable. We got copies of discrimination complaints filed with the state's Department of Workforce Development Equal Rights Division. There were 21 complaints made against Molson Coors over six years. Workers claiming they were treated unfairly because of their age, race, sex and disability. Of the 21 complaints we received, none were filed by the shooter. Obviously concerns have been raised and I think Molson Coors um, has an obligation and it recognizes it has an obligation to make sure that its workplace is one that's respectful. Um, and, and obviously I, I encourage that very, very strongly. The mayor says at a very basic human level, we should all be respectful of each other. State Senator Lena Taylor said she's also heard the rumors, but says it's important that as workplaces change and become more diverse, that the culture also changes. And we have to make that a welcoming conversation, right? It may not be comfortable, but we have to be open to hear and receive our differences. Mm -hmm. And actually, our diversity is our strength. Milwaukee police stress that this is an ongoing investigation and say it is imperative to wait for the facts of the investigation to be released rather than speculating and generating to a false narrative that could negatively impact the lives of the family members of the victims and of the suspect, as well as the employees of Molson Coors. Reporting live in Milwaukee, I'm Pari Cruz, 